So recently, uh, it was about two weeks ago, the family and I, my wife and my daughter, we went up to Boston and the New Hampshire coast for a week. Uh, for photo-wise, I didn't... Let's start over. Cut. I didn't have much planned for photo-wise. I know I just wanted to uh, do a couple blue hours in the morning and golden hours in the mornings and catch a couple of sunsets. Uh, I wanted to do at least one lighthouse up there so we landed in the Boston, uh, kind of spent one day in Boston, uh, just bitching around, uh, rode up to a little beach town, a little north of Boston, you know, since we were going to New Hampshire, I didn't want to go down to Cape Cod. Uh, when we got to the Airbnb, there was this fall foliage right there on this little road. Uh, it was too good not to pass up, uh, through the SL2S on the tripod and we took like a couple family portraits and some pictures of the foliage. It was, it was fun. You know, that's what kind of this trip was about was just, uh, no set plan. Just have fun. If you see something, shoot it, you know, just enjoy the family time. That day we planned to go into Boston for the full day and kind of spend a day. Again, I'm not the best at like vacationing and taking pictures, so I kind of, again, just limit myself to one or the other. Uh, didn't take the video camera this time. I just wanted to be a family day, but uh, here are some photos from Boston that I really enjoyed. <music> beach that evening it was clear skies i told the wife i was like let's go catch the sunset uh, and then we can grab some dinner while we're there too and it just so happened there was some like beach pizza places uh got some pizza there caught a good sunset and uh So the next morning, the four, I did plan to go to Northampton Beach. Uh, we went there last year, and I wanted to get sunrise there. Uh, the sun comes up on the east coast, kind of fronts light all the shore, and it's just I wanted to do blue hour, and I wanted to do a golden hour.
So when I was uh, looking at the forecast for the trip, there was like a couple days in the middle that were just supposed to be overcast, cloudy, just kind of dreary. You know, I didn't plan much for those days. I, you know, I'm almost, I tried to go for golden hour in the morning. It was just too foggy. But one day we were just chilling at the, we were hanging out at the Airbnb and my daughter was taking a nap. My wife was taking a nap, so I told her, hey, it's, uh, I just want to across the street here and just snap some pictures of the beach. Uh, I know I wanted to do black and white. I would have killed, I would have killed for a roll of HP5. Uh, don't know why I didn't buy it when I was in Boston. If there's any film labs up there, it just didn't cross my mind. Uh, so I took the Q2 and I threw it to monochrome just so I could see in the viewfinder uh, black and white. And I just, I honestly love shooting black and white on cloudy, dreary days. You know, just using black and white to make that contrast. The clouds cover, it's just like a big soft box. So you can shoot in the middle of the day. This was like four o'clock in the afternoon. And as I get set up for the photo, just sitting there with Q2, this this Bronco comes by, and I just I snapped a couple, and this was my favorite one. And so another day we had planned. It was kind of cloudy and dreary again. Uh, we wanted to take the daughter up to Kittery, Maine. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you know, we just, again, I didn't take the video camera with me. This was just another family day. Uh, went up to this beach. And honestly, this beach had the best fall foliage that we saw other than in Boston. It seemed like the colors really popped against that cloudy day. Again, I could shoot pretty much any part of the day. That it wasn't harsh light, and I really enjoyed that. It was fun, like just out there, the daughter was walking and we were just walking down the beach and I'm just looking for compositions. And on the beach, everything was kind of gray and we come around this turn and, and there was like this uh, patch of trees and then there was one red tree. And that was kind of a composition that I was using, like five little compositions like that. It was just one little red tree. After that, we went back home, just decided to eat in, you know, just go get some pizza again. And as we did that, cloud cover from the day kind of drifted away and the night was going to clear up nice little sunset grabbed the camera and my wife and daughter they came with me and we just went out there and caught one last sunset <laughs>